Alright, so this week's vlog I'll be talking about our group uh, audio research project which I worked on with uh, Lachlan and Duncan. So in terms of uh, the problematic aspects of, of our work, I think some of the problems we encountered uh, were a result of miscommunication and organisation. In terms of what we did well, I was actually quite happy with some of the parts in the audio. Um, the choice of music and uh, the mixed use of clips, sound effects, and playing around with sounds and so our audio piece focused on the YouTube apocalypse and we took a very experimental approach uh, to this subject and the result was a very abstract experimental audio piece in which we also did incorporate some informed discussion on the apocalypse. Personally I was particularly happy about the choice of uh, some of the background sound effects along with the music um, and the, and the general ambiance created um, through the combination of all those different sounds and musics. So in regards to our learning about media throughout the semester, I feel as though this audio work and the research that we did around the apocalypse ties into the theoretical concepts around YouTube and authenticity. Um, I think the restrictions put in place by YouTube I think the restrictions put in place by YouTube following um, the apocalypse may have affected the some of the creators abilities to put out their own authentic content um, so due to the YouTube algorithm which is automatic and uh, often demonetizes videos based on that algorithm it was difficult for some of the YouTubers to show their own original content which which they wanted to create due to the fear of it getting taken down or getting demonetized. So personally, I think that the most um, important affordance of audio-based media would have to be the opportunity for creative outlet that is brought on by sound effects and uh, recent technologies which allow for a lot of freedom. I personally found myself quite liberated um, once I'd figured out audition and I was able to play around with the with the sound effects and and audition as a as a technology to to create uh, my desired effect and create an audio piece that I, that I felt satisfied with. So the most vital thing I learned about our collaboration um, during this audio project is without a doubt the importance of communication. Um, it's something we lacked um, throughout the th throughout this collaborative work and we definitely felt the negative impact of uh, that. So the fact that we sort of lacked communication and worked separately um, meant that it was kind of hard for everyone to, 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 to get the same idea of what we were looking for. We, 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 we all knew the idea of the timeline. That was the general idea for the, for, for the theme of the audio piece, but, but we should definitely have looked at um, each person's creative intent, as well as communicating our own creative intent. So during the week eight presentation of the rough cut, uh, the feedback which made me reconsider some of the aspects of the work was the idea that um, a piece in the style we were going for, which was a sort of abstract interpretation of that apocalypse, may become kind of boring over a seven to eight minute time period. Um, so to counter this, we decided to add some text. I looked at adding um, automated voices. I found David Attenborough's voice as an automated voice, which which allowed me to not draw away too much from the from that abstract approach that we originally had, while still being able to bring information to the piece and making it more engaging. For the same reasons, we also decided to add some narrative and discussion on the topic of the apocalypse as a way to make the piece more informative.